it's getting late in the afternoon and the sun is starting to dip down towards the horizon the shadows are getting long and we've been at it all day we're really pushing up against the end of time that we do milling and most of the time you know i only mill about six or seven hours and we're bumping up against that at this point so we get this log up on the deck and we start milling it down and this is going to be the last log of the day and something's going to happen here that the customer's going to notice that i'm going to have to fix and, and you know when you drag a mill around the way i do and bounce it around on all kinds of roads and smash big logs onto the deck and all that kind of stuff things get knocked out of whack and i'm going to have to fix them and the customer actually noticed something that I hadn't noticed and that was that the last board coming off the mill was a little bit thicker than the rest. Now this is a little different because normally the scale drops when it gets beat up and, and everything gets knocked around. It doesn't happen very often, maybe just a few times in the last seven years on this mill, but it does happen. But occasionally, for some reason, it gets knocked the other way. And it's just held on by two bolts and you know over time these things can kind of get loose. All right, we're getting this log set up. We're getting it milled down. And again, you know, when you run a portable sawmill business like I do, and you drag your mill out into these remote locations, things just happen. It's just the nature of the beast, you know. I'm, my hydraulics are not working quite right. And I've got to get those fixed. And by the way, a video will be coming out soon on that. So we're milling this one down and you can see this is a nice big ponderosa pine and ponderosa pine can be used for all kinds of different things including light framing lumber posts beams that kind of stuff so the customer had come to me and he had said you know i've noticed that the bottom boards coming off the mill are a little bit thick so i get out my machinist rule and i check things out and you know what he was right the scale was off on the mill. Now that doesn't impact things too much when it comes to the simple set because it's going to drive exactly what you want. But by the time you get down to the last board on the deck, things aren't going to be right. So I'm going to have to fix it. And I'm going to do that right now. So let's get that done so we can get back to milling. Good thing you, you, you uh, asked for that. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, well, let me just check this real quick. I'm, I'm cutting a little big. Well, I, I thought you were, and I thought, well, okay, it's just me. No, no, well, I'd rather be cutting a little big than a little small. Big you can trim, small you can't. Get one too many rough roads, and what happens is the steel gets jarred around a little bit. So it's just off a little bit. Done this thing. <laughs> well, we've got extra. Okay. Hey, Kurt. Can you bring that metal detector over here? Mm -hmm. I'll fix you one. It's done. There you drop. Where were you working at? It was on. It was actually on that up top. Ah. Oh, you know what? It's, still like, it's a slotted one. It's <laughs> getting late. Uh, well, now yes, that I got is. all that off, it'll be easier to do this. I'm about freaking done. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, no, I am done. How do you do? Carry her. He said, what? This is the same log I cut off for. I gotta figure out. I want, I do. I want to take advantage of this. I just got. So you're planning to stick around tomorrow based on, based on, uh, uh. And this is Eric. Eric, this is Sean. Eric, how you doing, Sean, Eric? Sean, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, so you've got more cutting to do tomorrow? Well. 
for, let me, you well, know what I mean? I mean, why do another log or two? Because I want it for two by four. My, my minimum for a job like this of over 100 miles is eight hours. So, we haven't got eight hours yet. Well, we'll get you to eight hours. Yeah, I, I for sure. It, uh, yeah. If Help. you're going to do it, I mean. Yeah. Where are we at today about? we got to be seven. seven? I'm in, I'm in for I'm in for some. I just got to figure out uh, how much mama's money you're gonna spend. And I think I think. Um, well, and what's the smartest thing to do with the wood? Because I don't really have any projects planned right now. You got to stick it and let it dry, right? Yep. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's one one thing we got to do is, is get sticks because you can't use pine on pine. We found for, out. For you can use cedar. Yes, you can. I have lots of cedar. Lots of cedar one by twos, tons. Oh, two foot long. Okay. And, uh, uh, We'll make do with what you what you got. I don't okay. know what's going on. Okay, this is a great opportunity. Well, what needs up today? A bunch. I mean, there's. Um, and it, it, if you so... could just splash about a half a cup of pine salt over there, and a good healthy squirt of Dawn or four two. What does the pine salt do? It just helps get the, the pine sap, clean the pine sap off. Oh. Same with the Dawn. It's all about keeping the band clean so that uh, it doesn't get gummed up with uh, sap. It works really well. Sometimes on sappy wood, you got to really pour it on strong, but it works good. Back in action. This is my five inches, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's get. All right, you know, all I had to do is kind of tear into things a little bit, check the height of the band, loosen up the bolts to hold the scale into place, and just readjust it to get it back into the proper position. And that's pretty easy to do. I use an 18 inch machinist ruler, and you just check from the deck height to where the band is when you set it. And I usually set it at 12 inches. You check the height, and if it's off a little bit like it was here, almost an eighth of an inch. I just had to loosen things up, kind of lower it down a little bit, and then set it again, double check it, make sure everything's good to go. And at the same time, we chopped off the water loop. I just use water, pine salt, and dish liquid. It works really good. I know guys use other things, but you know what? I just find that that works best, and Wood Miser says that's what they recommend. And, you know, maybe diesel would work better. I'm happy with what I'm doing. So, anyway, we got the, got the scale fixed, and now it's time to go ahead and split this that we cut in half and you'll notice I tighten up the band right there a little bit on these bigger cuts like this you know what sometimes the band gets a little hot going through the wood like that you just gotta tighten it up a little bit it's just kind of normal operating procedure so we get this one split we're gonna flip it up and then we're gonna start knocking those down and you know what <laughs> those shadows are getting long beautiful location wonderful day but we're getting tired. Let's get this one milled off the deck so we can call it a day.
All right, there we go. You see the customer moving some of that sawdust out of the way. This is just one day's worth of milling and we got sawdust everywhere. That's the nature of the beast, folks. We're going to get this off the deck and call it a day. So let's listen in and hear a little bit of the conversation that takes place at the end of a day on a sawmill. Yeehaw! That's, that's going I just what? gave that's you the answer. <laughs> What's that? I just gave you the answer. It's looking like bourbon 30 to me. <laughs> uh, Did we get seven hours in? Eight? Would we? Well, he was just looking at a $75,000 excavator. Really? Do you keep getting half the time? Like this? Oh. Well, it wasn't an eight hour day, it was six hours and 50 minutes. That's too much bullshit on your part. It's all, it's all about actual working on the mill. I charge by that. Yep. If I'm doing maintenance, so I'm taking a break. That's not on you. I think you take a good record because right. there's been a lot of stuff we've had to do that's not. Uh, <laughs> I write it all. I keep it up in my little rain, right in the rainbow. Yep. And, um, Okay, unload this, I gotta that put way, the sprinkler you know, I, I, That kind of stuff bothers me. <laughs> that way? Well, it, 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 oh, yeah. All right, folks, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to drop another one for you right here to check out in case you haven't seen it. And stick around. Yeah. i got lots more coming. Got day two of this job and some more jobs to show you as well and some maintenance and that laser install from Apinex. Stick around. Y'all have a great day. The old jarhead out.